What is up everybody? Notion had a big release yesterday. They launched backlink, backlinks and a couple other features that are incorporated in other apps such as Roam Research and Obsidian, very highly sought after features in the note taking space. And I'm gonna walk through what that means for you and how you can potentially level up your workspace by utilizing this new tool. So first let's do a quick walkthrough of uh, what these features are and, and why they're important. So first off, I think there's three aspects of a note-taking uh, app that are important. The first is the ability to quickly capture information. The second is the ability to create uh, network thoughts through connecting different thoughts to each other, different notes to each other. And then the third is your ability to find and access that information at a later date. So for each one of these updates, um, specifically starting with backlinks. And if you're not familiar with how ba with what backlinks are, essentially think of it as you have one page and then you can see all the notes on every other page in the database that links to that one page as demonstrated in the example here. So why this is important is this is great for creating network thoughts. It's also great for being able to um, quickly capture information that you may, or reference information that you may otherwise have been unable to. The second feature that Notion added in is uh, more functionality for creating new notes and new pages. Um, this is amazing how you can now do this in inline, um, which is a combination of this third point. I'm not a huge fan that they have three different options now, the double bracket, the plus and the at to create notes. I've just been using the at as I found they do essentially the same thing. But between these two, number two and number three of the, sorry, number three of the ability to create inline sub pages, you can now enter information much faster. One of the big downsides or things that I should say people would complain about with Notion before is they don't know where to put things. Now you don't have to disrupt your thought to decide which database this goes in. You can continue writing, set up a sub page easily, switch it to a different sub page later, or excuse me, switch it to a different page or database later, or even do it while you're writing it out to save time. The last feature is turning a piece of content into a block elsewhere. This is really effective for, as an example, in like meeting minutes where you have a task that may come up and instead of having to switch databases, copy and paste, you can just highlight, throw it over so you make sure it's in, it's in the right spot. And this is an example of how you can reference um, some of that information faster after initially entering it. Now I'm going to give you an example of how I'm using backlinks and how I'm not using backlinks. So here is a sample note in my inbox. Um, which is where I keep basically anything that comes into mind. I first throw it in my inbox. Um, so let's say I had a thought where gaming came up, like gaming is really cool. So in this example, I've tagged gaming, I've turned it into a sub page. Instead of having like a tags database somewhere else where I send them all to, I've just, I think it's the best way to just have sub pages within and navigate through them. But as you can see, there's no backlink here because there's no other pages that are linking to it. You can see the parent page, but I don't have any backlinks yet. The alternative is if I control P and search for gaming in my Notion setup, I have 97 results that come up and I have a preview for each one that I can look through like this. So right now for me, I think the ability to see these backlinks on specific topics, on specific keywords, isn't actually that valuable in Notion because you can just do it in search. Um, as, I, as you can see here, I mean, 97 results is crazy. And you have nice filters on Notion to do search from, in page, only match titles, etc. So I actually don't think it's that valuable to keep like a keyword database as some people do in platforms like Roam. Um, I think it's what I think is most valuable is to actually use a Zettel casting system, which I've talked to a previous previously before, and I'm going to dive into a little bit here. So the way a Zettel casting system works is you have your inbox where every note goes in every single thought. Think of it like a place you're dumping things in to decide what you want to pick out later. Um, the second part is having these literature notes and literature notes are notes from articles, books, tweets, everything, etc. And they should complement and work with your inbox notes to create ultimately 
permanent notes. And this is my, I call it ZK, my Zettelkasten. And these are like my key insights that I've generated and taken away and I want to continually reference. So this is really the area where I have, where I'm utilizing backlinks the most. And I'll give you an example of it. So for this note, Pareto Principle, I'm a big Pareto Principle guy and I uh, have a lot of notes linked to it. I think it's a good one to show. So as you can see, I'm linked to Zettelkasten notes from my literature notes, from Power Ups. I also even link to an inbox note if I decide not to turn it into a Zettelkasten note. And then obviously, other Zettelkasten notes that are building off one another. The one thing with backlinks that I want to be cognizant of is the fact that not every backlink is that useful. I mentioned the keyword example earlier, but I think that goes for basically anything. Um, the purpose of linking something to another is you want to elevate your thoughts. You want to create new thoughts. And if you're just linking every single random word, you're not actually adding any value. And what's going to happen is you're going to spend your time trying to dig through your workplace, going through the same notes over and over and over again, trying to decipher which ones are important without really knowing. So this is a way where you can spend like 10, 15 minutes a day. I typically write like one or two a day, key insights that I can revisit and I'm constantly revisiting them as part of the Zettelkasten system. If you wanna learn more about that, I recommend you watch the video that I have linked up above and it can go into detail on it. As much as I love Notion, and for any of my friends watching, that's no secret, I recommend the product all the time. There are three things with backlinks and with these new updates that um, I hope to be improved soon. The first is just the speed. When I type at, today's a bad example, but when I type at um, Naval, I know I have pages with Naval, the amount that it takes to load is still relatively long. Um, also the amount to load new pages, if I wanna say inbox, even though I'm in inbox, it takes a long time. So this is something I hope will improve over time um, as Notion um, you know, continues working on this product. The second is do not link to other pages in titles. And this is why. This is the first note that I wrote out, and this note is linking to the first note. But when I search for do not link to pages in titles, I'm not gonna finish it, but as you can see, there's only one result. So this second note actually doesn't even show up. That's a little bit of a problem that I've noticed is I was enjoying throwing some ads in titles, but I had to stop and throw them underneath in the top of the text body. The third one is there's only one backlink per page. So in this example, I'm linking to the new note example here three separate times. And when I click on it, it navigates to the new note, and when I click back, it's jumping me back to a different part in that document because there's only one reference point, as we can see. So this is not a problem in an example like this where everything is so close together, but it can be a problem if you have like a 10,000 word document and you're referencing the same, if you're using it for this use case and you're referencing the same note, or the same other page multiple times, and you wanna see all the references, you're currently not able to do that. Now I think Notion is absolutely killing it, honestly. I mean, the way, the speed that they've demonstrated to implement these features, as well as how beautiful they've remained to keep the interface and, uh, and the amount of funding they've just recently raised and the hype they have around them. I feel really confident that Notion is going to be the note-taking tool of, of the future. But Rome still has a couple features that I really like that Notion hasn't implemented, at least not yet. The first is backlink previews. So when I previously linked on Notion, as you may remember, and, and in the intro, all you could see is like the one line title of the page. Rome provides the opportunity to see much more as, as demonstrated here, which I think is valuable. It's actually more similar to Notion's search option. The second is being able to see unlinked page references. If you remember the gaming comparison I made when I made the gaming page that had no linked references, yet I had said gaming 97 times, 
in my Notion workspace, um, being able to quickly go through all of those and see where it makes sense to create a page, a linked reference would be really, really valuable. And I think it's probably one of the things that's holding me back from trying out more, um, linking more things in, in Notion. Although I want to be careful of what I am linking just to ensure that I'm keeping the highest priority things at the top. And then the last is the mind map visualization. This is a very, very thorough one with a lot of notes, but um, I think it's just an interesting thing to see uh, which notes are taking up your most brain power, which ones you're focusing the most on, um, getting to immediately see all the different connections between a single thought. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if Notion will be able to create one or if it's on the roadmap. It may be a little bit more tricky since you can, since their hierarchy is still a little bit different. But I think they'll be able to do it should should they choose to. So to wrap up here, this is a big day if you're a Notion user and you really believe in the power of a second brain, like I do. Backlinks are awesome. They have so much potential and the future is really bright for the company. There are a few glitches and there still are a few features that Rome does much better and some other node apps do much better or have that Notion doesn't have. But overall, um, I think you should be excited about investing this much time in, in a platform that's just shown the ability to iterate quickly and continue to build great problems and satisfy their customers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.